Does cabin gain actually matter for a subwoofer? And does it actually change the output of your subwoofer? So let's say that the longest dimension of your room slash car is 12 feet, then that means cabin gain will begin at 45 hertz. So first I'll do a test in the room that I'm in right now, and then I'll do a second test in my closet. So I could use a bigger sub like my 18 or even this 15 right here, but these two subs already go pretty low on their own. But I have this seven inch Logitech sub right here, as I think it's only rated for like 120 watts. In its stock box, this thing really doesn't get too low. It really performs performs well all the way down to like 35 hertz but really anything under that if i start to turn up the volume then it bottoms out pretty easily but we're using it in a small room actually improve its low end capability let me know what you guys think down below in the comments so for the first test i'm going to start with a bigger room and the longest dimension of my bigger room is 12 feet so that means that my room gain will begin at 46 hertz and below All right guys, so I just finished the test. So now let's put this thing in my closet and see how it performs. So for the smaller room, room gain will begin at 62 Hertz. So I just finished testing the subwoofer in both rooms. And whenever I first tested it in the first room, it did sound pretty good, but it really wasn't hitting the lows all too well. So my subwoofer that I used for the test didn't really have any kind of output whenever I got below 29 or 28 Hertz. But whenever I tested it inside the smaller room, I was able to hear it all the way down to like 25 or 24 Hertz. So it definitely got a few Hertz lower. But whenever I tested it inside the smaller room, it definitely helped out the low end a lot more than the bigger room. And I was even able to play a little bit lower in the smaller room. And that's all to do with room gain. So if you're really not that satisfied with the low end output of your subwoofer well if you're able to move it inside a smaller room then i'd recommend doing so because it can really help the low end output of your subwoofer and it can even help your subwoofer play lower than what you're normally used to and you can even gain some spl just by moving inside a smaller room let me know if you guys have any experience with room gain down below in the comments i appreciate all y'all for watching hopefully you learned something new today and i'll see you on the next video